Evening, everyone. Hello. Hello. The search on the internet on desktops is on the decline. By the end of this year, predictions are showing that more people are going to be connecting to the internet via their mobile phone than they will via their desktop. It's no wonder there's 14 million people in the UK that are connected to the internet on their devices, on their mobile devices, and that's only going to increase. But the strange thing is, there's so many websites out there, such a small amount of websites, that aren't mobile enabled. I wondered why. So what I'm going to do tonight is give you an idea of how a site designed for the desktop, for a larger screen, can easily be changed to something that's more user friendly and easier to use. So hopefully I can give you a few tips tonight. But it doesn't mean that every company or every business or every website needs to be have a mobile app or a fully optimised website. But if you're using any form of digital marketing in your marketing mix, then you have to consider it. Something you're going to have to be considered. So let me throw a quick question out to everyone. Please feel free to answer this one. Apart from making a phone call, what do you think are the two most used um, actions on a mobile phone? Texting. Texting. Okay. Any other suggestions? Games. Facebook. Games. Facebook. Camera. Camera. Throwing. Email. That's it. Social networks and email. The two most used applications, either via the web or via an app on the phone, after phone calls. So texting is dropping down, it's becoming less important as people are music, moving to instant messaging services, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So, we have to start thinking rather about smartphones, mobile phones, is thinking about the users. And before you have a, a mobile website, you need to go back to the strategy and think about your marketing strategy and where that fits in with what you're doing before you move on to what you're going to display on the, on the device. Um, so it's about touch points. It's about building on the interactions that you've already got. It's about looking and thinking about how, you're, how people are interacting with your site or with the activities you're doing and how you can then build on that. So social media, for instance, um, uh, Twitter, I think 80% of Twitter users are accessing Twitter via the internet on a daily basis, at least once a day. Facebook, I think something like 30% of people will check their Facebook updates before they've even got out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. it. And I think seven, something like 70% of mobile phone, smartphone users are never more than three metres away from their phone. So it's not about devices, it's about the users, it's how people are using it. So you need to think about social media, for instance. Are people checking updates of, um, at breakfast time? Are they reading emails while they're commuting? Are they um, researching something online before they're going to buy it offline, or vice versa? How's it working? So that's a key thing to think about. So if you're using QR codes, for instance, okay, so this is probably a, a, a crazy use for, for a QR code, scanning it on the, uh, on the road as it's driving the pass. Scan but with care. you scan it, and this is the result. So it's a fail all round. Not only have they missed the opportunity with using a QR code correctly, but once it, if someone does pick up their phone and, and scans it, the site's too small, there's content as a render, so it's, it's a fail around. So it's about thinking about that full journey rather than I must have an app or I must have an optimised optimized site. Okay, so what are your options? What do you need to do if, if you want to make your site mobile friendly? First one is responsive design. Now this is really the mobile first. This is if, if you're going to do it from the beginning, you don't have a site, you've got time to develop it and you've got some budget and this is what can be done. So this is simply a site that displays loads on the device that is connecting and pushes that content all the way through. 
The great thing about this is it's all on one, on your one system, on your one CMS. So content is there, wherever the content is added and changed, it's displayed. The issues here is that if you've already got a site, then it's more complex to use this technique. You can use something like gridless, um, or you might find that a template has some elements of responsive design built into it. Um, but some of the issues could be that it could have a longer time to load as it's loading all of the, the site onto the device, and some devices can't render CSS. So there's issues around, around that. Second option is your CMS plugins. So if you're already running a CMS like Joomla, WordPress, Drupal, etc., then you've got an option to use something that's CMS driven. Again, another really good benefit, you've got one CMS. So whenever you're updating content, you know that you, you only have doing it once and then on, the, on your mobile device or your desktop it's getting displayed. Um, again, these are these are quite low cost, so I think most of these are free. Joomla, mobile, I think you maybe pay a little bit extra, a little bit for a, for the license, but you're only talking a small amount. There again, it's it's something someone can do themselves quite easily, but there might be some development time in there. You might need to bring your web designer in. Option three is converting your site. So this is more of an option for someone who's running their own site who isn't a developer or something that can be used as an interim or a low-cost, fast option to get mobile. The two main ones are Duda Mobile and Mobify. Duda Mobile works sort of like a cloud version. So what, what it does is it allows you to create the way your site looks on the mobile. So you can pick out the content which is best, best suited for the site. It then hosts it in a subdomain, and then, so you are running two versions of the site, but the great thing about the, the sort of the, 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 the trick of the system is that whenever you update your content management system on your main site, it synchronizes with the mobile version. So there's no need to ever get into that step where you're going to have to update multiple, multiple CMSs. Mobify works very similar, but it's a bit more um, a bit more aimed at developers, so you can get into the whole JavaScript and CSS development, um, tweaking and that sort of things. Again, they're both free on a freemium um, type service, so you can get the, the basics for free, and then if you want to upgrade, then you pay a small, small bit every month. So, when it comes to the point of thinking about mobile and thinking about your strategy and where we take it from there, this is the sort of roadmap, short four-step four roadmap to go for. When you use one of those services, if it's if it's um, if you're converting or a CMS system, the, the plugins, what you'll get is step one: it will it will detect and divert that traffic. So to detect, uh, detect what phone or what tablet, etc., is um, viewing the site, and divert it to the right place. You need to have to think about defining your handsets as well. So analytics is an important thing. If you're looking at your analytics at the moment, you need to see what devices are connecting. And if you're using one of the CMS plugins, for instance, it's a little bit more of a, a general approach. But if you use something like the Duda Mobile, then that's very good at, at converting your site to all sorts of handsets. Again, you need to select the content and, look, and think about user experience, making it finger-friendly, making the buttons larger, click-to-call, all those sort of options that come as a, a natural step when you're using a mobile phone, and then including the analytics at the end as well. So I'll leave you with this. Housego Mo is one of the resources that I'd suggest having a look at. There's excellent um, tools on there. You can test your site so you can see what your site looks like now on devices. You can talk. You can fill in a, a quick survey, and it will audit your site as well. So if you talk about uh, what you use your site for, etc., what you're looking to get out of your site, it will give you some tips as well. There's some best practice guides. But there's also, you get a free one-year use of Duda Mobile as well. Thank you. Any questions?